said. Okay. I call the uh, Planning Commission meeting of Wednesday, January 21st, 2015 to order. Um, uh, Mr. Smith, would you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Petchus, would you please call the roll? Certainly. Commissioner Bar um, Barnes? Here. Commissioner Brown? Here. Chair Darden? Here. Commissioner Crandall? Here. Commissioner Rulin? Here. Commissioner Smith? Here. Okay. Uh, before we review our minutes, I just want to welcome our newest commissioner, uh, Vonnie Barnes. Uh, we're pleased to have you, Vonnie. And uh, for those of you in the public who uh, aren't uh, aware of the contribution that Vonnie's been making to this community for some time, she's been involved in uh, various HOA activities, uh, as well as having had experience um, in uh, working with the local coastal plan, which is um, a, a big task that we have before us. So we, we welcome uh, your experience and um, are thrilled to have you with us. Would you like to share a little bit about yourself and give the public an idea of why you wanted to become part of the Planning Commission? Well, I just look forward to working with you all. And I've actually worked a little bit in Dana Point. We have properties there. Issues came up, land use issues with uh, in the coastal zone, with properties, with beach access. And we had to pour over the local coastal plans uh, and the general plans. And uh, a lot of that may help uh, in studying some of the things that are going on here as we put things together. I hope I can help a little bit. We'll see. I'm sure you will. Welcome. Okay, so that brings us to the uh, approval of minutes. We have minutes from the study session of January 7th. Uh, do we have a motion or are there any changes? I'll move to approve. I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so that's five with one abstention. And uh, then we have the me uh, minutes from the regular meeting of January 7th. Um, I have a change. Um, actually, I have two changes. Um, and Eileen, I'm sorry, I didn't type this, so I, I, I hope you can read this. I, I did jot it down. On page 7, um, down the bullet point that begins with um, endorse consideration of designating 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. This is where we talked about whether uh, the... Um, uh, the residents uh, should have the ability to park from uh, 6 p.m. To, to 9 p.m. And uh, we had decided that it wasn't necessary to designate it. Um, I just wanted to make sure to add this at the end to reflect our conversation. So um, uh, a comma and then, let's see, and in effect, residents could park from 6 p.m. to 9 a.m. anyway because they could take advantage of the three-hour limit from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And then on the next page, uh, page 8, um, before, it's like down like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, um, between the 8th and ninth bullet, um, I'd like to insert um, another bullet, and you can clean this language up, Eileen, if, if you wouldn't mind. Um, uh, this, uh, in my rough language, um, I said, under general parking management recommendations for city council consideration, um, uh, reorder the items with all bullets appearing as sub bullets supporting um, the uh, implementation of the general plan measure to create a downtown parking and circulation strategy. That's where we talked about having that kind of umbrella statement and then having the others be subordinate. Are there other changes? How about a motion? I'll move we uh, adopt the minutes of the um, January 7th meeting. And I'll second as amended by Chair Darden. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Abstain. All right. Five and one abstention. Okay. Sorry. Let me flip back to my agenda. All right. That uh, seeing, uh 
That brings us to oral and written communication. At this point, um, if there's a member of the audience who wishes to address the Commission on a matter of public interest which pertains to the City but is not otherwise on the agenda, this is the appropriate time to step forward. If you wish to speak, um, and, and I see Mr. Culbertson stepping forward, please step forward to the microphone, state your name and City of Residence, and make your presentation. Please limit your presentation to three minutes. <clears throat> Thank you, Larry Culbertson, resident. Uh, I wanted to uh, talk about a an item that was actually passed last September. I don't know if you're aware, if you remember, 176 Avenida Cabrillo. That was the um, the project. It's a vacant lot. It's about two lots up from the Cabrillo Theater. That was where a single family house, 1,800 square feet, was to be, is going to be built in the back, and a commercial building, 675 square feet, was up in the front. And the uh, existing rules say you have to have 3.9 parking spaces for that two for the house and 1.9 for the 675 foot uh, commercial but the rules allow for rounding down so you approve them with three parking spaces you had to do it because that's what the rules said you had to do uh, part of what upsets me about this I, I argued against this at, at, at design review uh, the applicant assured us it was just going to be a, a husband and wife and it was going to be a small personal business in front and I hope that didn't influence your decision um, because now the property is up for sale at considerably more than it was bought for just a couple of years ago. Everybody has a right to make money. I, I'm all, all about that. But what bothers me is the existing rules allow for such small number of parking spaces. And I requested at that time that we, we do something about it. I mean, we're going into this, uh, you know, re, uh, changing the zoning rules. We have to do something to require more, more parking or less density. Than what, what's been allowed there because it's it's going to be a mess um, somebody bought that already there's already a pending offer it so it's probably going to get built and I can see that same thing frog marching right down Cabrillo with uh, the same thing you know only requiring three parking spaces with a house and, and a commercial that could be two businesses so anyway I'm just calling it to your attention I'm not asking that you do anything about it you can't but uh, I'd like to work with Jim and see what it, what I can do to try to convince the powers that be that we got to look at that that part of the zoning and and try to tighten it up a little bit. All right, thank you. Thank you, Larry. And as you know, we can't comment on that tonight, but we appreciate you uh, bringing that to our can attention. Can I ask every question? Yeah. <clears throat> the, uh, the requirement on that is 3.9, and it was rounded to 3. Yes. How would you have felt if that would have been rounded to 4? Well, it would be better, but 4 is still not very much. Okay. I mean, because that commercial building was was two separate rooms, about uh, well, 675 square foot, so you could easily have one car for each of those businesses. So even four would be not not be enough. Okay, so you're advocating even something greater than the round. I know rounding. it's tough, but yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, um, if there's no one else who wishes to speak at this time, and seeing no one step forward, we'll move on to the public hearing process. The public hearing process includes a staff presentation, a presentation by the applicant not to exceed 10 minutes, and public testimony. To facilitate the meeting for all attendees, the public is asked to limit their individual presentation to three minutes. Following closure of the public hearing, the Planning Commission will respond by questions raised, uh, two questions raised during the hearing, discuss the issues, and act upon the matter by motion. Uh, the first and only item on our agenda this evening is 209 Avenida La Cuesta, a cultural heritage permit, 14-107, minor exception per permit, 14-471, the McIlvain residence. And um, I don't see Mr. Champa here. Um, Mr. Petches? Uh, staff is requesting this item be continued uh, because the applicant has revised their proposal based on construction cost. And so for that reason, we're asking for a continuance. I'll move that we continue to a date uncertain. Second. All in favor? Uh, aye. aye. Opposed? Okay, passes 6-0. Well, actually, it says here that they wanted to continue the Oh, okay. Would you revise the... Um, the motion, please. Sure, I'll be happy to revise the motion to continue this to the February 4th Planning Commission meeting. Passo, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, so that passes 6 0. 
All right, so that bring, begin, <laughs> brings us to reports of commissioners and staff. Is there anything from uh, Coastal Advisory? Yeah, Coastal Advisory Committee a couple, two weeks ago uh, with uh, City Planner Petras in attendance reviewed the uh, local coastal plan portion of the land use plan, 179 page document. Uh, we had uh, some very uh, valid and valuable uh, public input and learned a lot from it. And I think Jim got all the comments we needed. Uh, and he's since, I think, taken it to the Beaches, Parks and Rec uh, Commission. So that will be coming our way here probably what, in March sometime. Um, I had put out the word uh, via Mary Bondrick and the staff to the Coastal Commission meeting to, that I would do a page turn review, similar to that what we did in the general plan review, uh, which was Lofton and company also in attendance. Uh, and will probably be meeting us here also with another missive uh, helped out. Uh, so I would recommend uh, considering that for the land use plan coming forward. Is it probably uh, there are seven sections to it. Mm -hmm. uh, to do it efficiently is do a page turn and at the end of each section probably open up public comment uh, and then proceed on. Uh, so anyway, we had a pretty good review of it. And, uh, did it all come to you in? Um, it, did it come to you in mass? You got the entire it came thing at, at once. Well, we got it from staff electronically. We didn't get a, a printed well, I mean, copy. Or, uh, in contrast to when we reviewed the general plan, yeah. when we got sections. Well, at time. it was uh, it, about eighty-five percent complete. Uh, we were missing uh, the ESHA studies had not been completed yet. Mm -hmm. So I think you might bring it back to us uh, to the Coastal Advisory Committee when that study is done and that portion of the report is filled out. So that was not reviewed. So the I, I, correct me if my uh, percentage is off, uh, Jim, or not, on the how much remains to be done to finally complete the report. Oh, I don't. Uh, Ninety. It's probably ninety-five percent done. <coughs> Five percent incomplete with the ESHA information. Also, um, before we take it to Planning Commission, we're waiting for comments from the Coastal Commission staff, um, so that we have a good uh, understanding of what they're. Uh, requirements are going to be what they're going to want to see in the documents so that whatever we move forward with it's something we can expect them to be able to support so um, that will dictate whether we get this to the Commission in March or not mm, okay and um, can I you know recommend or request that um, we have a, a little longer runway with the LCP than maybe we do with some of the things in the general plan, especially with the first review that we do. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sure we're going to spend we're, a lot of time. We're gonna, our plan is to start with a study session. Oh, and perfect. Yeah, we plan on two. Uh, two uh, and then we plan on two meetings. Okay. A session okay. and two meetings total. And, and That's great. But we, but we won't get it like Friday night. Um, will we? You might get a Friday night, but hopefully it'll be Friday nights like a month ahead of time. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, we actually got it a couple weeks. In fact, staff got it to us before the furlough, so we had actually a couple weeks for the for the Coastal Advisory Committee to go through it. Great. And so that's great planning. You must be a professional planner. <laughs> okay, and uh, Jim, I know you had some thoughts you wanted to share with the commission. Yeah, just a notion I had as I was uh, had a couple extra minutes uh, this afternoon, and I um, took a glance at the um, sessions that are go that are available in the planning workshop that I think everyone is going to be going to. Right? Are all the commissioners going? That's great. Um, and there's in most of it, there's two tracks. So there's basically two, either one session or two sessions running in parallel. I think on, on Wednesday, there's uh, four sessions running in parallel because there's two field trips that they're offering. But I just thought it would be um, a good idea for us. And it may turn out this way anyway, but I thought it'd be a good idea for us to make sure we've got full coverage at these sessions, given that there's no, you know, two and in, in this one case, four tracks. Um, uh, and, I, you know, at some point we can think about you know the sessions we want to go to and make sure that we've got enough people at least one person attending each session and then at a later study session we can sort of present you know what we got so that other people can get uh, the benefit of that session as well Similar to what we did last year we went to San Francisco. yeah yeah it, but you know what happened last year is um, you and I um, and and I think I think we gave a presentation and staff um, participated in in that partic uh, in that um, uh, presentation, um, but there were uh, other commissioners who had some subjects that they were going to focus on, and you know we just we just didn't get them on the calendar, and then um, and then they kind of uh, when when we did have time for it, they kind of lost track of the information. So um, uh, it would be great if Jim were able to pencil in a, a couple of meetings. 
um, uh, and we could spread it out over that time, and in that way, it would, you know, people could plan on it, and it would still be fresh in everybody's mind. I, I, I know we're going to, you know, have to devote some study sessions during that time frame uh, to the LCP, but hopefully we'd be able to squeeze in a couple for um, for that. We may, for instance, there's I think a total of three sessions on CEQA. So, you know, we may have want to have one study session just, you know, like on CEQA, and part of those study sessions we could be presenting. The CEQA review is always good for all of us anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you've been asking for CEQA 101 from Ajit um, for Since a while. Farm left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about having Ajit give us a CEQA presentation. So Meet in the Ocean View Conference Room. And Anyway, there may be a way to coordinate it just to make sure we all we cover all the sessions. So maybe you can, e I don't know how you want to do it, email Julia or Jim the sessions you want to attend or something. And I don't know how. Well, why don't what we could do it now? What if we do this? What if, well, wait, since Wayne's not here, why don't, uh -huh. and, um, uh, and not everybody's had a chance to study the schedule. What if we all uh, plan to take a look at it between now and the, and the no, next you're meeting? Up for one of the field trips. I did, and that was the other thing I was going to say. Well, let me just finish with. So if we if we sign up, um, I'm sorry. If we if we all study it um, and come in with some thoughts about which ones we want uh, want to sign up for, and then we can uh, coordinate um, after the next meeting. And then um, the other issue was the field trip. I was um, Vani and Michael. You might not know this, but the field trips fill up really quickly. So if you want to go on the on the field trips, uh, tell Denise immediately. She's going to make the reservations tomorrow. Okay, good. Yeah, there are two. One, um, one of the uh, back, bay. back Bay and one of the Great Park. Uh, and I had, I signed up for the Great Park, and then Jim reminded me that now they, they used to not have sessions except for staff during that time period, but now the sessions are concurrent to the field trip, and now I'm torn because there's some really good sessions during that I mean, time. I've had four tours, tours on the active Marine Corps at the Marine Base. I don't think I need a tour of any. <laughs> you don't think so? Well, do we have somebody who's going um, to, who wants to? Um, oh, cool. Do we have somebody who wants to go to the Back Bay tour? Going to yeah. sign up on that? All right. Well, I'll, I'll, then I'll, e I'll email in and, and volunteer for that one then, just to make sure we got coverage. I'd like to see the but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to go to some of the sessions as well, you know, during that time. So but as long as we get full coverage. Well, Give us some thought. What do you... you know, yeah, and if we do this, you know, if I, if I sign up for the one and you sign up for the other, and then we can always swap those tickets out, you know, if, if somebody else has a greater interest. You know. the the... Uh, Transcript of the mm -hmm. study sessions are all available anyway, so even if you didn't attend it, you can still either listen to the video or. Oh, that's a good. That's a good point. So, that's, well, yeah, that's. If really we don't good. attend, we can still study up on it. Yeah. Uh, since I haven't been to one of these before, and I'm planning on going to this one, um, I talked to Julie about it. it was there carpooling in the past? Of, mm -hmm. When it was in when it was in L.A., we um, we, yeah, we carpooled in, San, in Pasadena. Oh yeah, for Pasadena. Yeah, so I mean, I think it just depends on everybody's schedule at the time. I think we, I think we all try to be green, um, and and carpool to the the extent well, that we Los can. Angeles, I mean, there was a stat. We had a stat day. Yeah, we can. We'll look at it. When it's closer, we'll figure out how to. I can uh, potentially get a city van to go up. Yeah, that'd be cool. We'll, we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I can drive up. Thanks. Great. Okay. Anything else? If there's nothing else, 720. Uh, if there's nothing else, I will move that we adjourn to the study session to be held at 6 p.m. on February 4th, 2015. Council Chambers at City Hall, located at 100 Avenue Presidio, San Clemente, California. Do we have a second? A second. Hey, okay. all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, that passes miraculously. 6-0. Oh, <laughs>